Hello. I'm happy to be here today to share my journey. God, I'm going to cry. <laughs> to share my journey with you. Life isn't easy when you're a drug addict. Being a good parent is even harder. Through all my years of addiction, through the hopelessness, the homelessness, the crime, the domestic violence, the fear, and the shame, I was lost. Then. Child Haven and you helped me to discover the strength to recover and to believe in myself, but it was a long journey. They say child abuse and neglect is a cycle, but it didn't start in my own family. I grew up in a loving, typical middle-class family in California with a stay-home mom and an engineer dad and two older brothers. It was the 70s, and drugs were everywhere. While no one at school or home really talked about just say no, still, it shouldn't have been so easy for me to start smoking marijuana at just nine years old. By the time I was 14, I had a full-blown cocaine habit. Looking back on it, knowing what I know now about mental illness, I realized I suffered early on with anxiety and depression and the beginnings of bipolar disorder. Drugs made me feel powerful and in control. They couldn't be all that bad if everybody was doing them, right? I was so wrong. I had dreams to become a horse trainer and a large animal vet, but drugs robbed me of my ambition and my self-respect. I quit high school five credits shy of graduation, lived at home and worked at low paying jobs, and then I met a man and fell in love and got married. I had my first son Clinton by the time I was 21, my second Shane a couple years later. I now realized I suffered from postpartum depression. We moved to Washington State and my husband tried hard to keep our family going but I wasn't getting the mental health care I needed. I was still addicted to cocaine. I was isolated in our country home without any support to take care of my sons. With all the stress, my husband grew abusive, and I admit I had plenty to do with the damage to our relationship. When it became clear that, our, that we were headed for divorce and that my kids were suffering because of my addiction, I made my first trip to treatment, but didn't, it didn't work. My marriage ended, I lost custody of my two boys, and I left for a new life on the streets, addicted and homeless. And I stayed that way for the next 10 years. Here's something you may not realize about drug addicts, about the homeless women you see on the streets who are clearly mentally ill about the people who've lost all hope and live in constant chaos. They still love their children. I know I loved mine. The pain from being apart from them, the shame I felt in not being there to care for them only reinforced my desire to use drugs. I met a big-time drug dealer on the streets of Seattle, and we lived together on and off. He was a classic user and manipulator, physically and emotionally abusive, and very good at making things seem like my fault. I got pregnant again, had my son Jordan, sometimes staying with the drug dealer, sometimes stealing drugs myself, sometimes sleeping on the sofa at a friend's house, sometimes living in my car all with a newborn baby. The day my fourth son was born, Mark, two years later was one of the best and one of the worst days of my life. My beautiful baby boy was born with drugs in his system. I was devastated when Child Protective Services got involved, but it also led me to Child Haven. 
and the beginning of a new chance at life. Both Mark and Jordan eventually went to foster care while I went into treatment. And once again, as would happen many more times over the next several years, my recovery didn't last. But Child Haven's incredible influence on my children's life was permanent. At first, I didn't trust Child Haven. I didn't trust anybody. I was afraid that the good people of Child Haven would judge and reject me as a bad mother. But when I saw the amazing teachers were able to do with, my, with Jordan and Mark, how they lent structure and routine to their lives, how they modeled patience and effective discipline, how they welcomed me and focused on my strengths instead of my weaknesses, recognizing how much I loved my boys and how desperately I wanted to change. I began to come around. With Child Haven support, I finally felt the faint stirrings of something I hadn't felt in a very, very long time, hope. Hope to go from simply surviving to really living. By then, I'd been referred to Valley City's Behavioral Health Care, a local mental health agency, to finally get the treatment I'd needed for so many years. Not just to conquer my addiction, but to also diagnose and treat my bipolar disorder. And as Child Haven helped my kids and find stability, they also became a critical part of my recovery, both as a mother and a human being. Time after time, whenever I faltered and felt I couldn't manage being a mom on my own, Child Haven was there for me, encouraging me to be the mother I'd always wanted to be through parenting classes, by modeling in the classroom how to deal with difficult situations like tantrums and potty training, guiding my boys and me towards stable bonds, helping with so many things that might seem like they should come naturally to parents, but that can be overwhelming when you have no comp confidence and coping skills. Child Haven held me up until I could hold myself up. I started to thrive on all the encouragement and attention and positive reinforcement I received at Child Haven. I began to feel how powerful I could be in sobriety. Slowly, slowly I began to believe in the woman and the mother I could be rather than suffering in the shame for the sad lost person I once was. Child Haven made my family whole again. Our journey with Child Haven began long ago. Jordan is now 19, a sophomore in college studying sports medicine. Mark is 17 and works in theater tech. He'll graduate from high school this year. I've long since reconciled with my two older boys, Clinton and Shane. All four are smart, good-hearted, resilient young men. And I even have two adorable grandsons, and they're twins. As for me, I earned my GED and with a degree in life, I became certified by the state of Washington as a peer support specialist. I began working for Valley Cities eight years ago, leading groups of moms and dads who are struggling with addiction and mental health issues, helping them learn to love and forgive themselves and to find the strength within to recover. I share my story with them so they, so that they could, so that, I share my story with them so they know that if I can succeed, so can they. I have worked hard to become a good mother and a good person, clean and sober 13 years. Thank you. If it weren't for Child Haven, and people like you who support it, I have no doubt that my story would have never had such a happy ending. I probably would have lost Jordan and Mark, and if that had happened, I would have lost myself forever. You and Child Haven broke the cycle. It began with me, and it ended with me. 
My boys and I continue to stay involved with Child Haven as volunteers. I've helped to lead the Parent Advisory Committee so I can pay it forward and advocate for the future parents of Child Haven who are lost and afraid like I was. And Child Haven remained constant in our lives too. Whenever I felt like giving up, I knew Child Haven was a safe place to turn. It always feels like home. Last November, two generous Child Haven supporters at the fall auction purchased and then donated a Child Haven parent an all expense paid trip to the Seahawks Tampa Bay football game. And Jordan and I got to go. I couldn't believe it. And I was so touched when Jordan said to me, Mom, you deserve this. You've worked so hard and I'm so proud of you. We flew on the chartered plane with the team, stayed at a nice home hotel, had sign line passes, and sat on the 50-yard line. That, what a life-changing opportunity for a young man who plans to have a career in sports medicine. Thank you. It was just one more example of the incredible generosity of people like you, people who make it possible for hundreds of kids like Jordan and Mark to heal and thrive every year, and for the lost and hopeless parents like me to find the confidence, commitment, and courage to become the mothers and fathers their children deserve. You made our happy ending possible. You built the foundation for a better future for me and my family. You saved my life. Without Child Haven as a motivation, and without my children, I fear addiction would have eventually taken my life. But you and Child Haven saved me. Thank you for my children, and thank you for my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.